Hello YouTube, I'm Larry, this is Team APS, and this is Larry in the Hole. Finally, after what seems like so many months of waiting, we are allowed to be here at a &H Games. They've allowed us to come in while no one was here. We should still be social distancing. It is still a thing. If you don't know how it works, I spent $40, buy a brand new sealed product to see what I can get to see if I can plus without getting dreadedly in the hole at about $100. Hopefully we get some good collector's rares or some starlight rares, is that what they're calling it? Whatever, we're gonna get something fancy and shiny. I think I'm like $47 in the hole, but I'm not worried about it because we're gonna get it right. Let's go. Regardless of what people may think, coronavirus is still very much out there and you should take your time to protect yourselves and the ones that you love. But out of that soapbox, um, seems like forever since I've been able to even like sit down and play a decent game of Yu-Gi-Oh! They don't care about me. Mm. I'm not important, but I am essential, which just means you have to work and I don't have to pay you extra. So what's it been like being a gaming shop operator here during this very, very trying time? Well, can't say it hasn't been difficult. Um, we rely on the opposite of social distancing. We usually have table space for about 100 people to come in, play games and whatnot. So it's been weird just not having people here. Um, new products, been a real struggle to get out there um, just because people haven't been coming in. But randomly, all of our retro stuff really spiked up and it's been selling well. So a nice trade off there. Anything that was old from the 90s, we've pretty much gotten rid of. That includes Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, mm -hmm. old video game consoles, everything. So has the, and again, don't do this, I'm way too close. Has the fact that people can't just come in and play on like any given weekend, has that hurt a lot or is that something that's just kinda, eh, but we do the best we can? You know, we've been fortunate. It hasn't hurt nearly as bad as we thought it would, but yeah, like I said, that's what our business is really about, getting people in here to play, so. So, if you're sitting at home listening and you have a local card shop that you like to frequent or go to, please make sure to support them. If they have stuff, go out and buy it. Of course, I don't recommend, you know, sit somewhere when a group of people and play, but support them because without them then we ain't got no place where we can do our favorite thing of course eternity code the is it the last booster of this series yeah the last of Angel. uh says the vinyl showdown and that ugly 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 tune chaos it's just weird like a goofy toon chaos font and toon black luxor soldier sitting there it's just it's just odd. Like, like it looks it looks like one of the fake cards that you ordered it's not normally mine i think i stole this from somebody but this is a fire attribute shirt. We have made one for each of the attributes. Um, I like them. They're really, this is, I like the bright, vibrant colors of them. Whenever all of us are wearing one, we look like the Power Rangers. What are you looking for for me? That um, stupid dinosaur thing. I don't like I don't like dinosaurs as a deck. It's just. What's wrong with dinosaurs? It's, it's nothing wrong with them. It's just that stupid thing right there. That stupid thing, yes. Oh, that, oh, that, that's just it's, it's, it's a aggravating boss monster. Of course, there's that Link Cross, which is a one of those power cards that everyone sought after. The um, I'd like an access to a talker person. That'd be really cool. Sure. I think that's the most expensive thing. It is. It's like sixty right now. Everything's expensive right now because we don't have actual tournaments to kind of quell the prices. So I heard a rumor about Toon Chaos. Besides the fact that it's ugly. Yeah. Not the set itself, I like like the set has a lot of good cards and a lot of good reprints, but I can't get over that packaging. The rumor is, I don't mm -hmm. know if you've heard this, but Konami used a different company to print it. Mm -hmm. And so that's why like it has quality control issues and stuff. I don't know if that's like. It's all hearsay until Big Brother Konami tells us otherwise. Well, now, all of the collector's rares are stupid in price. Um, a lot of the new Toon stuff is pretty high. Did they reprint Toon Kingdom in this? No. That's weird. Good luck if you're trying to play Toons. I like that dual overload, but... It's a shame yeah. we didn't get to do dual overload. Oh. Just, it was like right after everything. <laughs> I mean, technically there's no reason we couldn't do it. Uh, do Imp Perm's still pretty high. I think Needle Fiber has settled at a little, about slightly under 20. 
As always, we're just gonna dig right in. You gotta feel them. You gotta get in there. Do you have any particular card that you actually want out of? Out of? Mm, um, not at the moment. Um, I don't say at one point, I was actively building Dragon Mates, but I've since completed that. Um, Decklist coming soon. Access Code Talker is a nice card that just, it's just good, but mm, not too much. Toon Chaos. I have extravagances. You can get more extravagances oh, than her. You need more extravagance? You can give them to me. You have them too. Well, I could use them more. So these are the packs. So we got five and five, five Etco, five Toon Chaos. So, just wanna just ruin stuff. Oh, God. So Paul, you might know, or you probably talked to um, Alex who could know. Did, how did the Brains anime end? I don't. I didn't watch very much Brains. I have been watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens though. If anyone. That's that's out already. Mhm. Mm it's a good show. It's new. It got delayed because of COVID, but it's back. Everything got delayed, Ex except for my work schedule. So Eternity Code first pack. So AIQ. Wow. What's this? In the main phase, tribute three. I hope you have. Nope. That's bad. Ooh, hey, Union driver. Not bad to start. People were really excited about this. Of all like all the broken like the Union stuff. That's another boss monster that I hated. And I hate. I just hated Buster Dragon. Ooh, golden hair. A new plunder patrol. I'm actually trying to build these. AI contact. Um, it's eye contact. Eye contact, like looking at you in your eyeballs. Yeah. I don't watch the, the, the anime. AI. No, but I mean, it's, it's, it's I. Like, they're all said I. One card's I Shadow. There's also Ignister Island. I Shadow. There's I Love Fusion. There's wow. So the, the people needed to know, so. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Gersu the Mech Knight. See? Wait, this is a good episode back. Mm -hmm. Gersu? Mm-hmm. The Orcus Mech Knight. Do you have any Tr idea? Trill's gonna be mad at me, because I think he just bought these. Eventually, you, you're patient, and good things happen to you. Malice, the lady of this, is this like Lilith? Yeah, it's part of that series okay. that like, she's okay. from. That's not bad. Oh, Ancient Warriors, a deck that I'm building, but I have everything of, like the Three Kingdoms and all that, it's, or if you play Dynasty Warriors. And the art is amazing. Let's see, Megalith on Uniform, Marincis, Stairs of Mail, Invoke Aggie, I'm not gonna try. First Tune Chaos. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I mean, if you pull a collector's rare, just know. I'm glad they reprinted this, Do you but I don't like the rarity. It's such a good, powerful, strong card. Oh, like oh, you're talking just, about just BLS. Yeah, in general. BLS and the um, Chaos Emperor Dragon. I was like, uh, I finally and, and have one because I've ne I've never owned one. And now they're like pouring them out into yes. every rarity in the game. Just ruining the value of stuff. Fright from ooh, Fright for said pendulum monster. Chaos space. Huh, okay. This card's insane, actually. People are really surprised that they made this card a super rare. Mm -hmm. You get any chaos thing that you want. Good old Sandgen. Solid Soldier. Gemini. That. I'm the beginning. Microcoder. Who does that do? That's from the video game, actually. Do you remember in Legacy of the Duelist? You get. Uh... I, I play it, but I didn't. It, it's good for that Code Talker deck. Yeah, it's really good for that, actually. See, they're just whoring it out, just. Yeah. Because don't in uh, Battle of Legend, do we get the pendulum one? Yes, okay. the prize card one gets through pendulum back. Dark Flare, and the Proglio. Another. Uh. Pour it out. Oh my <laughs> god, wow. Ultra Pot of Extravagance. And here I was hoping it'd be a collector's rare. Beggar, I've never beggars, seen one. Beggars cannot be choosers, Paul. Be happy with Might what we chance. get. That's one. It's the collector's rare, it's damaged now. <laughs> that would suck. I've never Gear seen this. Gear bread, oh wow. I've never seen this. Card. During your draw phrase, instead of conducting your normal draw, add one equip spell. Curse of Dragonfire. Light Pulsar Dragon. Magician of Hope. I have a deck that I could actually run this in if I had the extra deck space. That's something I want. If I if I could have one thing, more make extra more space. extra deck space. Uh, that's a tricky proposition. I know. 
because then you run whatever you want. But that's just, that's what I would want because I'm not, I'm not picky when it comes to the game. I don't have many gripes like, oh, ban this card, it's broken. I mean, but you're going to play it, aren't you, you cheeky somebody? Here we are, our prize cards, Pod, Girasu, say no. Uh, Chaos Space and Union Driver. And of course, we get all our prices from TCG Player. We got 45 for a pot of extravagance, 35 for Girasu, $5 for Chaos Space, about $2 for Union Driver. So, configuring, I was at negative 47 when I walked in, spent 40, went negative 87. So, 45 and 35 is 80 plus five plus two is 87. So I am zero right now. All the way from one day, I bounced all the way back and have undone all the bad luck from the past, what, two, three episodes? If you get nothing else from this, good things happen to those who are patient and wait. So this has been a very, very profitable and fruitful episode of Larry and the Hole. If you like me, if you like what we do here at Team APS, please make sure you subscribe, like the video, Tell your friends, comment, tell us what you think. We love hearing from y'all. As always, I'm Larry. Past turn. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. What are you doing? People trying to come for my title is top Yu-Gi-Oh puller. I see you. You keep running your mouth. I'ma slap you like your like button. Team Sam, if you want this, let me know. And you can come get it. Find if you have what it takes to go one-on-one -on -one with the great one. I'm out of here.